Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for viewing. And today I'm very excited because I finally got my brand new intake. And I already opened it, I was too excited. I couldn't even open it on camera, I was too excited. But this, it shouldn't even be considered an intake. Um, I got the Eventuri intake and it's, it's just a masterpiece. It's literally a masterpiece. Um, I'm literally blown away at how beautiful the carbon is. It's just, it's, it's expensive, don't get me wrong, but I'm surprised that at that price point, they were able to make something so comprehensive, so tested, so well-developed. And, you know, it's just a, it's just a testament to <laughs> it's just a testament to the genius of the guys at Eventuri. And although they no longer have their RS3, I wish they would get another one. Maybe since the new 2022 is coming out, maybe they can pick up that and, uh, you know, continue to develop the platform. And anyway, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here it is laid out. Um, uh, beautiful packaging. Everything is taped up with foam and plastic. And um, I don't have to say, man, it's just, it's just a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous setup. Like, I've never seen an intake at this high quality. Never. The patented filter design is insane. And everything is, is labeled with their branding. I mean, just top, 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 top quality. We're gonna continue to unbox everything. Um, it comes with the powder coated and heat wrapped heat shield. Um, price point wise, you know, it's not cheap. It's it's just under the two thousand dollar mark. Um, but you get every single thing. that there is that you need. And I challenge you to find a better looking, a better tested intake. These guys really went back to the drawing board. They had a, um, they had a, a stage two intake before. And when people were doing big power builds on these RS3s and TTRSs, they went back to the drawing board and created this larger one. So this is now the stage three. And when, you know, did the whole setup again. And now it's literally a four inch opening. And I don't have a scale here in my shop, but I mean, if you could feel this, if you could feel this weight, it's like crazy, crazy light. Let me get the tape measure and show you guys this. Four inch. Look at how big this is. This is insane. <laughs> oh, it's a four inch. So yeah, um, 
This is it, man. This is this is just like the best intake I've ever seen, hands down. Um, shout out to Emron, my guys, Eddie Venturi. Um, I'm very glad that I was able to get it. Now let's get this puppy installed. All right, so now we're about to go from plain Jane under the hood to that carbon fire. Right now it's a Sunday and I came in. Um, well, one, because a client has to pick up this beautiful fully wrapped beast that I did. And they could only do it, pick it up on Sunday. So I'm like, all right, might as well get my install on. So I'm going to throw you guys on a time lapse and I'm going to start installing this puppy right now. Hopefully I get it done correctly. Um, I didn't have my guys European Auto do it because I'm going to have to get the turbo inlet pipe installed, but I don't have it yet. So my guy Gio was like, yo, why don't you just wait and get it done all at the same time? But, you know, I'm impatient. So um, I figured it would be a nice video to get this done um, now. And then he doesn't have to be bothered taking the intake back off to put the turbo inlet pipe on. So I figure I'll install it myself. And then when the inlet pipe comes, I'll give it to these guys. They could do that. And that'll save them the double trip. And then I'll be ready for stage two for MPAC. <laughs> Which is still not enough power because all of those fools be running like fucking a thousand horsepower at MPAC. But at least we'll be doing something. I can't wait to race it. Let's go. Okay, so every car before this that I have was Japanese. So I have to unscrew that bolt right there. But the head of the bolt is facing the other way. Why, Audi? Why do you do things like this? So to get back there. Hondas are so much easier. <laughs> I mean, they're not as cool, but my Evo was easier too. But I'm sure this is a much more stout platform than my Evo was, but still. Why, Audi? Why do you put the freaking thing backwards in there? This is pretty cool. I thought I'd show this off. I've never seen anything like this. So it's branded with the even Surrey name on it. These two um, uh, couplers, I guess you would call them, silicone couplers. And then they're split down the middle so that they can just go over the coolant lines and uh, keep them protected so nothing vibrates or goes on them. Really sick.
follow-up drive and you definitely can hear a little bit of extra turbo whistle it's nothing crazy though like I would have thought um, you know whenever you have a turbo car if you have an open intake you'll hear a lot of turbo noise and a lot of like blow off this one you definitely hear the induction noise but you don't hear any anything like letting off after and you guys definitely aren't going to hear anything from the camera right now but it sounds it sounds really good the induction noise is is very nice you just hear like a like a it sounds very good But yeah, I'm just checking, making sure there's no check engine light, which there isn't. I'm still on a stage one tune. Um, so now I have intake, down pipe, mid pipe, stage one unitronic tune. And um, it sounds really good. Let me do a quick little poke. can't really hear um, anything besides the induction noise but it sounds it sounds really good really nice right, I'm gonna go from a first gear
different too. Whoa. I just overtook a little A3. It's moving a little different. I'm not gonna front. Let me do another little pull. I'm gonna floor it this time. 